said times in his rhymes cause his memories We running through New York so you never leave Shut my lungs then we puff until we're that right We're giving them some stories they come back like Manic this, manic that, why you crawling to me? Okay guys, welcome back Today we're going to be doing the S85 oil change As this car needs to be have the oil changes, it hasn't been changed for over a year Bear, please bear in mind this car hasn't done much mileage though in its life so it wasn't it was changed last year in january in 2019 the reason for that is because um this year as you guys know in the uk a lot of people only use summer cars so it's very very low mileage even for its age still and therefore people only change it when they're going to use it and then just restore it and then get the oil changed again when they're going to actually use it again but that never happened so what we're going to go ahead and do is drain the oil because as i said when i bought this car it was low on oil um it was in the middle and i did top it up so therefore I am going to go and drain it because I want this oil out of the car so I can put new oil in. Even though I am going to be doing the rod bearings on this but I want new oil in it before that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to change the oil on the S85 engine. Okay guys, so as you'll see here, right here you're going to want to use an Allen key bolt which I believe is, this is a 6mm Allen key bolt and then you're going to want to find your oil filter housing nut which we've got right there. Make sure it's in because you don't want to end up stripping it at all. So you want it to be fully in and then you just want to crack it loose. Which I've just done. And then we're going to release that. And we're just going to turn that until the oil comes out. See right there, oil coming out. You'd want to be careful to keep your sump plug as well. Don't drop that. Um, it's been crucial that you don't drop that bolt. So as you see, we're draining now the oil out, and that's the hole that you'd come to to drain oil. So we've got that draining. We've got the sump plug. Then we're going to go ahead and release the oil filter um, drain plug. And as you'll see, this is the same Allen key for both for the oil filter housing drain plug and the sump plug. So you don't need to change. They're both exactly the same. So we're going to go ahead and leave that there while it just keeps draining. So as you can see guys, it's still draining down. Now, you want to be careful as well that when you take off your sump plug, you've got the washer right here. Now you do get a new one in the oil filter, so you can uh, put a new one on. But we're not going to, because we don't really have to. I know this oil's been changed in last year, so they would have replaced that. Um, the oil's still draining. You want to make sure you check how much oil's actually come out the engine as well. Um, these are known to burn oil, so that's something you might want to be aware of as well. Um, these do will and will drink oil, um, but nearly topping up. So sometimes if you want to change it, say for instance when it's asking to add a quart, well then you're going to be a quart low when you check how much oil is actually drained out. So just bear that in mind. So we're just going to let it drain out. Then we're going to put the sump plug back on, which is right here. We're going to screw it back into the sump and then we're going to go for the oil filter as well. Um, I'm going to disconnect the oil filter cap as well um, to release any pressure so it can drain properly. Okay guys, so now the oil is actually stopped. We're just gonna quickly give it a clean up in the sump hole, because we don't want no oil still leaking while we're trying to put the plug back on. Then what we're gonna do is just retighten the sump plug. Which we've now got. And that's all retightened. And what you're going to, just going to do is clean up the area before you tighten it to not over tighten it or make it slip. So we're just going to clean, we're just clean up my hands. Just going to clean your socket around as, as well. Because when you go to retighten it, got no slippages, no leaks, no nothing. And what you want to do is put your socket back on. And you put your ratchet back on and just re-tighten it any way you can. And that's that done guys. So that's the that's the sump plug back on. And now we've got the oil drained. Now we're gonna move on to the out oil filter housing and remove that. Okay guys, so here you have it, here's the oil filter housing. And as you'll see there, there's the drain plug. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is release that. And then we're gonna drain it. So as you see here guys, we've now released the bleed screw and the oil is now draining down. Like I said, it's the six mil Allen key bolt to release that. 
to let the oil filter housing drain. You just want to get your 24 mil socket and release the oil filter housing, which is right up here, which we're going to be doing and taking oil filter down so we can replace the oil filter next. Okay guys, as you'll see here now, it stopped draining from the oil filter housing. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is now release the oil filter housing with the 24 mil socket. So as you see there, we're just going to get the socket on it and we're just going to turn it off. So as you'll see right there, it's now cracked loose and now we're just going to turn it out. And you want to be careful as well to have your located underneath while you do this because it's going to drain oil out as well from the filter housing while you take it down. So now we've done that, now what we're going to do is get our hand, turn it out like that and then there you go, have it. there's all the other oil coming out. So we've got the cap off, as you'll see, we're just going to let the oil finish draining from there and then pull the filter out and let it drain. So as you'll see up there, this is where the oil filter will sit, there is no little rod piece on the oil filter cap. Um, as you'll see it just clips straight in you have to be careful where you put the oil filter in just make sure it goes in correctly and then that's it guys that's how you would take the oil filter out of there so now we're going to go ahead and put the new one and install the new one back in okay guys so now what we're going to go ahead and do is reinstall the oil filter which is here we've got a brand new man filter to go in and then we're just going to screw it up okay guys so as you'll see there that's all done fully done and fully seated in with the oil filter out. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and screw this one in. So as you now see there guys, it's all fitted. Everything's perfect and we got that back on. So now what we're gonna do is lower the car and retop the engine oil up before we go ahead and start it. But as you just see there, it's very easy to remove the drain plug first, then the oil filter with your 24 mil socket and a six mil Allen key bolt just for the sump plug and the oil filter drain plug itself. But there you go guys, that's the oil filter change done on the S85 engine. Now we're just going to go ahead and top it up with the oil and start it up. Okay guys, so we're going to be using the Castrol 10W60, the proper oil for this car. I don't believe in changing the oil, um, so we are going to be using that one. I don't know a lot of you are going to say, oh this one's no bad, it says so on the forums of the keyboard warriors. But let me explain to you something, this car's had 10W60 all its life, it's on 100k. On original rod bearing so therefore if I knew the oil change correctly let it warm up correctly and don't be an idiot this oil is perfectly fine so we're just going to tip that all in as you guys know this car takes nine liters of oil and I got this very cheap um, on my trade discount this oil a lot I know a lot of you in the US pay through the nose for this oil this only cost me 23 pound for four liters um, so I get it very very cheap um, I ordered some more yesterday and it only cost me 80 quid for three of these so I got 12 litres and three oil filters for this car as you see you just want to take it drain it all in crack one you guys know me I don't use no um, crap on my car so it has to be the best I don't know a lot of you guys are going to say but you use um, Shell on your M52 engine that's correct I do um, and that's purely because BMW have now gone over to Shell um, apart from that I, will, I like I say this car needs Castrol it's what's recommended for the car so I wouldn't use anything else and with my trade account, I get things very, very, very cheap. So, even brand name, so it doesn't cost me much. There's no point on me skimping out. I know in the US, um, from a lot of people, it costs a lot of money for the Castrol oil on this engine, but here it doesn't for me. I've ordered 100 litres in, of Castrol oil in a drum, which is going to come for this car, because as you guys know, it's going to be getting used a lot. And, um, you know, it's better to have it like that, which only cost me £80 for 100 litres in a drum, which I'm going to be keeping here in the garage for this car. Okay guys, so we're in the car and we're just going to start it up and we're going to start checking the oil. Okay, so as you see there, it's already warmed up and that's purely because, as you'll see, um, I warm the engine up before I drain the oil to get it all out. Um, you don't want it thick. You don't want it to just come straight out. We're also going to check it on the iDrive, which we're going to click in on the iDrive right there. And we're going to go over to Info Sources, Service, and we're going to go down to the engine oil level now. When I drained the oil, the oil looked actually very clean, so I don't know if this has already been changed um, before I actually got it, even though it shows on the service history that it was changed in January. You can't go by that, because some people change it theirself and don't have service history, so you just don't know. But I've just changed it anyway for peace of mind. Um, just gonna wait for the oil to come up um, and do its checks and everything else. I'm gonna have to go and probably drive it to get it up to temperature. Um, 
and then check the oil thereafter. But at the moment, it's still um, trying to negotiate what the oil is in the car. So as you see there as well, we've got nothing on the iDrive. So I might have to go and drive it. I know I've filled it up correctly. Um, so we'll go and see and see what happens as if the oil level comes up. So here you have it guys, I've just took the car for a drive and as you'll see now, it's showing 0 0.9 liters, just under the liter, um, which is where it should be. On the iDrive, we're seeing it at the max. I only put in this car eight liters. I didn't actually put the full nine because that's what BMW state as well. Even on this, it tells you only put the eight, run it up to temperature, check the oil and then fill up if necessary. I don't need to fill up. I'm happy with where it is now. Um, we've also got it in the max on the iDrive, which means the oil is perfectly fine. So I'm not gonna top up another liter. Before I changed it, this was showing 1.5 and I'm so glad I got it out. Now we're showing only 0 0.9, very happy. Oil levels come up and that's the oil service done. So that's the way you would do it, guys. You need to let it come up to temperature. If you're gonna service your S85, make sure you only put the eight liters in first and then check it because otherwise this is why. You'll come up to the max and you could overfill your engine. You don't want that on this engine. So we have the right amount of oil and we're gonna leave it as that. Okay guys, there you have it. I've just shown you how to change the oil and filter on the BMW S85 engine. This will be the same for the S65 as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you ain't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe as we got a lot of BMW M5 videos coming up. I'm also planning to get an M3 on this channel as well at some point. Um, that's gonna be the next engine we're gonna be doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.